here in Houston, as well as one of the world's best who you can learn from firsthand. That is coming up next on KPRC Channel 2 News Today. Well, fencing was a huge part of the Olympics, but here in Houston, a lot of people are into another type of fencing that dates back to the 14th century. Yeah, this is fencing in the style of medieval knights with steel swords. Chip is live this morning at Sword to Sword, where historical European martial arts is taught. Chip. Yeah, Hema. Big swords, body contact. That's kind of the sum up. But I've got Nathan joining me, who all morning I've been saying, we've got one of the best in the world here in Houston. This is the guy. You finished fourth in an international competition. I did. A couple of years ago. I did. So this is the guy you want to talk to about the sport. Speaking of, what exactly is it? Because it's not quite fencing. German longsword fencing is part of a medieval martial arts system that includes sword fighting, wrestling, and armored combat. It's a lot like Ooh. what you see in Game of Thrones, MMA okay. with a sword. MMA with a sword. Now, we definitely want to see some of that in action. I don't know if I'm quite ready for MMA with a sword, but we have plenty of people who are just as experienced. Now, to get to this level, you've got to start somewhere, and that's kind of where Sword to Sword comes in, correct? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we can actually do... Uh, We've got a new student day coming up on September 5th. Oh, cool. And by visiting swordtosword.us, you can learn all about that. You can sign up, and we'll be more than happy to get you started. Where can people typically see this? Because this, to me, screams medieval times. We are all over YouTube, and we've also got a big international competition coming up in October. ESPN will be broadcasting nice. it. It's called Long Point South. Are you going to be a part of it? I am. All right, got a root for Nathan. Now, if you're interested in being a part of it yourself, you mentioned the new student day. We wanted to give you a little example of just what you'll learn when you come in. I understand there are these seven basic cuts, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. We run we run new students through seven basic motions as follows. Okay. Do as I do. I will do as you do. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Ooh. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five across the middle. Six. Six. And seven. I like seven. Ah! Does that happen ever in competition? Just with you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, you know, it is what it is. What do you guys think, though? I mean, I know, Rachel, you got to see some Olympic stuff down there, especially the fencing, but they oh don't got this bad boy down there, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> Chip, I got to tell you, I think you're a natural. You've got to stick with this sport. You look really? so awesome. Yeah. You, is that what it is? I think it's just because I'm tall. And big guys with big swords just kind of work, you know? Yeah, it's working for uh, me. Uh, it's working. I like your stance. I like everything about you right now. <laughs> Chip, you're a good stance for so That's aren't fantastic. You? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Nathan. Keep it up. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, he's, Chip. He's on to something. Look at that. Whoa. Quick on his feet. Fast feet. Fast, fast feet. Fast fast feet. Yeah, nice. I like the, I like the, the undercut move. Yeah, that was my favorite. Although this one's hard to beat. The over the head.